Okay, so let's talk about the fourth problem: substring with largest variance. Okay, so this problem is hard one, and we need to handle this problem efficiently. If you are aware about some topics like Cadenet's algorithm, and here you can solve this problem with with an ease, and also you must be familiar with the strings. How we are going to deal with the characters, and uh, under the given time constraints. how we are going to frame the solution okay so variance of a string is defined as the largest difference between the number of occurrences of any two characters present in the string okay and if you are given a string as consisting of lower case english letters we need to return the largest variance possible among all substrings of s okay so we are going to consider every substring and we are going to calculate the variance okay so these are the two examples i will deal all those examples so first look let's look over the constraints max length of string is 10 raised to the power 4 so we would be finding an efficient solution to solve this problem okay so let's begin to understand this one so first let's understand what is a variance suppose we have a string s0 s1 s2 s3 s4 A string of five characters. Okay, so variance is going to be defined as max of all the difference that we are going to have. Okay, max of let me write down for all substrings we are going to calculate the frequency of a uh, first character minus frequency of second character. Okay, so this is for a string. Okay, so for any two characters C H one and C H two, we are going to calculate this uh, frequency in this string, and we are going to find out their difference, and this difference should be maximized. Okay, now here in this problem, we are going to consider every substring. Consider all substrings, and then we are going to find out the variance, and we need Uh, to maximize this variance okay so let's take one example a b c d e a b c d e okay so we need to consider every substrings and we need to maximize our variance let's consider a substring of length 2 sorry a substring of length 1 so you can see a b c d or e okay so max dif like difference of any two characters if we are considering substring of length 1 uh, this is not possible because uh, yeah you can say a difference of any two character the characters being same the difference would come out to be zero okay so let's consider a substring of length 2 first okay so characters a and b so if you consider characters a and b their difference is always come out to be 1 minus 1 which is zero And similarly, B and C one minus one, C and D one minus one, D and D one minus one. Okay. And similarly, if you consider substring of length three, you can see A, B, C. Any two characters, if you will pick it up, their frequency is one, and another one is also one. So dif their difference will always come out to be zero. Like if you grab out the substring of length three, uh, like uh, all the substrings of length three in this case, it will come out to be zero. Similarly, for the fourth, four length string and five length string. so our maximum possible variance will come out to be zero so if you look out the answer answer is zero so let's uh, understand this example okay so the string is a a b a b and uh, a three times b okay so uh, let me just write down clearly a three times b. okay now you need to find out the if all the length substring every substring and find out the variance and you need to maximize the variance okay so if you consider this length substring let me pick up this random you can see the, the characters are only a and b the frequency is 2 and b's frequency is 2 which will come out to be zero okay so if you consider a uh, substring uh, starting from here and ending up to this position you can see the string is nothing but this one so frequency of a is 1 and b is 
the max difference is 4 minus 1 sorry the difference is 4 minus 1 which is 3 so 3 can be the maximum variance ok so let's check out one more case like check out this entire string a a b a b b b ok so the frequency of a is 3 frequency of b is 4 the difference is 4 minus 3 which is 1 so which is less than 3 so if you calculate like that you are going to get 3 as the maximum uh, possible variance over all substrings of s ok so how do you find out this uh, efficiently like if you consider every substring and calculate that it would go around o of n square time complexity so that is not suitable over here because uh, n is 10 raised to the power 4 so you need to do the operations in less than equal to 10 raised to the power 7 iterations ok so one thing that is being quite uh, noticeable over here each time you are going to fix two characters only like for every substring you are going to find out the two characters so it gives us the uh, idea that why not to fix the characters uh, that we are going to have so let the characters be ch1 and ch2 so I iterate for all the characters of ch1 which would start from a and uh, which would end up to z so let me write down a to z and also ch2 from a to z like i trade for all the characters of ch1 in the range a to z and ch2 in the range a to z okay now you need to find out the difference of occurrence of ch1 in the string and occurrence of ch2 in the string for the, like you need to maximize the difference between the frequency of ch1 in the string and frequency of ch2 in the string for any substring okay so what i'm going to do is like let's say the frequency of ch1 is f1 and frequency of ch2 is f2 for any substring you need to maximize the difference f1 minus f2 for any substring in our actual string s okay so what i'm going to do is so let me move on to the next piece a a and that string was b a three times b. okay so when i will get uh, when i will fix ch1 and ch2 i will mark ch1 in our actual string by plus one and ch2 also by plus one which means that i basically i'm calculating the frequencies of ch1 and ch2 whenever we will encounter those characters and what about the other characters whenever we will encounter the other characters neither the frequency of ch1 nor ch2 will increase ok so basically we need to find a substring where the occurrences where the frequencies of both the characters is positive and that difference between the ch1 frequency and ch2 frequency f1 minus f2 should be maximized so how we are going to do that the basic idea is Cadenius algorithm the algorithm is quite simple to that of Cadenius algorithm ok so whenever we will iterate from the left to right and whenever we will encounter the current character let's say current character is ch exactly equal to ch1 I will increment the frequency f1 by 1 f1 plus plus similarly if ch exactly equal to ch2 I will increment the frequency of CH2 which is F2 by 1 F2 plus plus ok and whenever the frequency of F1 is positive and F2 is positive it means that we have a substring where we can take these two characters we can consider these two characters and let's maximize our answer by the difference of F1 and F2 answer equals max of answer comma f1 minus f2 note that f1 frequency should be always greater than f2 frequency we are always considering that and what about when f2 should be f2 frequency would be greater this will all this will get covered when uh, like since ch1 and ch2 consider every possible characters this will also get covered uh, for the case when f2 is greater than f1 like we are always here focusing f1 is greater than f2 ok that's why I am writing f1 minus f2 every time and uh, like if you are wondering why not f2 minus f1 and this will uh, get covered when the characters we are going to take uh, we are considered 
uh, will also get reversed suppose ch1 is a and ch2 is let's say p okay so what about when ch1 becomes p and ch2 becomes say it would get covered okay like f2 minus f1 will also get covered okay now also whenever f1 frequency would becomes less than f2 frequency it means that whenever uh, yeah whenever f1 frequency let's say frequency of a is strictly less than the frequency of p i'm talking about these two characters uh, character CH1 and CH2 when the frequency of A is less than P we are going to make the frequency F1 as 0 and F2 as 0 because we are going to consider a new substring ok so let's take an example for this substring and let's analyze how we are going to do that so we have A, B, A, triple B ok so uh, my CH1 would be A and CH2 would be B ok and uh, we will iterate from the left hand side and try to maximize the value of f1 minus f2 so we will get this one so my f1 f1 would become 1 and f2 would be 0 and when we get this one we have f1 is equal to 2 and f2 will be 0 and when we get this one we have f1 will be 2 and f2 will be 1 you can see our both the strings are uh, what both the strings both the frequencies are positive and f1 is greater greater than f2 so i will maximize our answer it would become 1 2 minus 1 and when we get this one f1 would become 2 and f2 would also become 2 okay since our answer would still remains as one maximum answer and when we get this one b you can see my f1 would become 2 and f2 would become uh, 3 okay since f1 is strictly less than f2 we are going to make the uh, we are going to make this initialize this f1 and f2 both as 0 because we are going to consider a new substring okay so both will be initialized as 0 so these all will be left we are going to always going to consider for the next part and again this uh, f2 will be incremented so f1 will be 0 and f2 will be 0 f2 will be 1 so again we are going to we are not going to consider this one and we will initialize both as 0 and so on you can see maximum answer comes out to be 1 right but this is not uh, the correct one right but this is not the correct case our answer, actual answer is 3 okay so but here we are going to get one because we have considered ch1 as a and ch2 as b what about when we consider ch1 as b and ch2 as a okay so ch1 as b and ch2 as a okay so when we consider uh, these positions you can see f1 would become 0 and f2 would become 2 at this position right so we will initialize as f1 as 0 and f2 as 0 now at this position f1 becomes 1 and f2 will be 0 our answer would be 1 and at this position again f1 would become 1 and f2 would become 1 our answer will still remain as 0 because answer equals max of answer comma 1 minus 1 which is nothing but 1 now at this position you can see f1 would become 2 and f2 would become 1 so our answer would still remain as 1 now at this position f1 would become 3 and f2 would become 1 so our answer would become maximum of 1 comma 2 which is 2 now when we go to the last position both f1 and f2 are positive so f1 would become 4 and f2 would become uh, 1 so our answer would become max uh, as 3 maximum answer okay oh so what i will ha be having as yeah three as our maximum answer so okay so i would uh, discuss one more case uh, first uh, let me show out the code like uh, there is one more tricky case that you need to handle in the last otherwise you will get this wrong answer okay so what i have done is like uh, stored all the frequencies and i will traverse through all the characters and if ch1 is exactly equal to ch2 
or either of the character doesn't exist in our string we are going to continue use the continue and not going to do further otherwise i'm going to do for the you can see for the original string and for the reverse string i'm going to do these operations i will tell you why i'm going to do for the original string and the reverse string uh, later on first let's focus how these are implemented so i will count 1 and count 2 is 0 and i will iterate in the string and if my current character is equal to ch1 i will increment count 1 and if my current character is equal to ch2 i will increment count 2 and whenever uh, count 1 is strictly less than count 2 i will make both as 0 otherwise if both are positive i will maximize our answer by count 1 minus count 2 okay so this step uh, works well in the original string but there are some of the corner cases where you need to consider the reversed string also like suppose you have a string like this one uh, let me just clear it up suppose you have a string like uh, a and uh, 5 times b okay so in this case if you consider ch1 as a and ch2 as b okay so your answer maximum answer would always come out to be what zero i guess zero because if you consider this one you will have one minus one zero and when you consider this one you have f1 and f2 both as zero and similarly so on you are going to get and maximum answer is zero okay when you consider ch1 as b and ch2 as a okay so what you are going to get is uh, if you look out this condition when you have this uh, okay so let me write down over this position a and 5 times b when you get this a f2 f1 will remain 0 and f2 will become 1 since 0 is less than 1 both will be initialized with uh, 0 okay now when you get this b this f1 increases but the frequency of f2 will always be a value equal to 0 when the string completes so f1 would become finally 5 and f2 remains as 0 but if you look at my code when both is positive then we are going to maximize our answer okay so our maximum answer in this case will remain as 0 but the expected answer is not 0 because if you consider this entire string like this entire string this uh, frequency of b is 5 and frequency of a is 1 our answer should come out to be 4 but we are not going to get this one okay so if you are going to reverse this string b b b b b and a then you are going to get the 4 because whatever the characters that are ending in the previous case that is uh, we are not going we are not being able to consider this character a that will be considered over this position so on reversing this string it works well okay that's why we are going to handle these cases by reversing the original string okay so if you guys have still any doubts you can reach out to us through the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video